What is going on guys, it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use Photoshop Actions and what the main purpose of Photoshop Actions are. So let's go ahead and begin with this tutorial. Before we begin with this actual tutorial, I want to go ahead and give a huge thanks over at Graphic Stock for letting me use this image. Graphic Stock is an affordable stock graphics site. Uh, a subscription based site where you guys can have unlimited access to graphics, vectors and icons. You will also have access to unlimited downloads of over 250,000 graphics. Everything will be 100% royalty free and you guys can start your 7 day trial. I'll post a link for that in the description for you guys to check out as well as a download link for this image in the description and you guys can download up to 140 graphics from their library during the trial so you guys have plenty of images to use whether it's for Photoshop or Illustrator you guys can use the graphics from their website so I would highly suggest you guys check them out so um, Photoshop actions are it's a series of steps that have been created by the creator where you don't have to recreate all of the steps but they've been pre-recorded for you to apply with one step pretty much in order to install actions, all you have to do is download the actions. I'll post that download link in the description for you guys to download. Um, here is our actions. It's going to be a .atn file or an actions subscript. And all you have to do is simply click and drag on top of Photoshop or just double click the actions file. If you're on a Windows, it's going to be a little bit different. But if you're in Photoshop, go over to the actions window. So click this little play button or go over to window and go to actions. The shortcut is option F9 or alt F9 if you're on a PC. You're going to have your action. So it should be next to history and action. So if you go right here, you're going to see a history and you're going to see actions. So within the actions little window here, you're going to see default actions. And these are actions that have been created already within Photoshop. So these are default actions. If you guys want to install your custom actions, you can go over to this little uh, button right here on the top right, you're going to see a triangle with little lines on it. Click on that and go down and go to load actions. So again, you guys can clear all actions, reset actions, load actions, replace actions or save actions. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to, how to use actions, not to create actions. So that will probably be a separate video to this. If you guys want that, please comment below. So I'm going to go over to load actions and it's going to bring up a new window where you guys can select the actions file. So uh, if you guys download the link or the file, it's going to be a folder. And within that folder, well, it's going to be in a, it's going to be in a zip and then a folder and then the, the file. So select the actions file and it's going to look like this. Click open. And Photoshop will then install it to the uh, actions window here. So we're going to decrease, uh, you're going to see a little triangle. We're going to click on that to hide the default actions folder. And then you're going to see our, uh, our actions. So here's our little folder with our triangle. Click on that. And by the way, the instant hipster, this uh, action actions file is based off of the Instagram filters. So that's probably why it looks so familiar if you used Instagram. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, it's it's the troll. So it's a really cheesy name. <laughs> so uh, Instant Hipster by Sparkle Stock, if you guys want to go ahead and check them out. So here within our little folder, you're going to see an option to play all the actions. And what that does is it will allow you to play. Play, in other words, means to apply. So play or other, otherwise known as apply all the actions that you see here to our image, in this case, the New York's uh, skyline, which is which our layer is locked. Um, you could actually apply all these actions, but why would you do that? So if you can, it's there, but it's not it's not required, I guess. So here's our filters and I want to apply Valencia. So if you click the little uh, triangle next to Valencia, you're going to see all the steps that have been created by the creator for you to apply. All you have to do is simply click the play button and that will apply the action to your image and you're done. You can select multiple uh, actions by holding command or control on a PC and you could do all of those and click play instead of one or individually. Um, so you could do, I don't know, all of them by holding shift uh, and that will select, uh, you have to click the first one and then hold shift and click the last one and I will select all of them or you can just go over to play all actions and then click play and that will allow you to play it. You could also delete actions within 
the folder here that we've imported. So say I wanted to delete Nashville. I click in this little trash icon, click on that, and it's gonna say delete the selection, click OK, and then it's deleted. So you don't have to have all of these actions in the folder if you don't want to. So we're gonna go over to Valencia, we're gonna click play, and it's gonna bring up a new window where it says new snapshot. It's gonna give it's gonna give you an option to give it a name, Valencia from full document, because you want to select our full document, right? You could also do merge layers if your layers are merged or the current layer. So I'm gonna just do full document because there's only one image and I'm gonna click OK. Then it's gonna say replace snapshot Valencia, click yes. And now you have your Photoshop action applied to your image. And if the effect is too strong, simply decrease the opacity to, to whatever your liking is. So I'm gonna keep it around 70% now. I think 80% is good. So here's our before and after. Again, if you guys want to use this image, a download link will be provided in the description. So um, that's pretty much it on the uh, on how to use actions. There's not really much to it, but creating actions is a little bit different. So if you guys want a, a, a tutorial on that, please tell me in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. Leave a rating below if you guys want more of these tutorials, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, stay classy. Peace out.